Hi everyone, in case you don't know, we're in the children's section of the Family Resource Library. Um, we have books for all different ages, even books for adults, and we try to keep open as much as possible, so generally five days a week, week and sometimes Saturdays, and we would love you to come and visit. Hi, we're on the third floor of the Children's Centre and the number of the room is 301 and uh, we would love you to come and visit. So my name is Stephen Cunningham, I'm one of the uh, surgeons here at Johns Hopkins and I've just uh, finished my general surgery training at the University of Maryland and this year I'm doing a one-year fellowship during which I'm specializing in surgery of the liver and the pancreas. So I've always uh, written poetry for adults uh, and only recently started writing poetry for children. Uh, the inspiration for this current book actually was my son who's nine now but when he was four he, like a lot of other four-year-olds, boys and girls, I think, was infatuated with dinosaurs. Uh, what he really loved about them was the way the names all mean something, like the way Tyrannosaurus rex means tyrant lizard king, or Stegosaurus means plated lizard, or his favorite, Pachycephalosaurus, which, probably not a coincidence, means thick-headed lizard. And so that's what he really loved about the dinosaurs. Um, this uh, was something that I really found interesting too and in fact was a natural extension for me from my medical writing about medical nomenclature. So the two sort of came together and in both I like to play with names and meanings and etymologies and language clarity. I think there's something about dinosaurs that children and adults really find enticing because they don't exist but they used to so that mix of science and imagination, I think kids and adults find very compelling, very interesting. So in honor of National Library Week, I'd like to go ahead and read a poem or two from my book, which is in the Child Life Library. Uh, the book is Dinosaur Name Poems, and the first uh, poem in the book, and the one that I'd like to read now, is called Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus is a dinosaur that everyone knows by look, and it has these plates shown red here, and plates means stegor, and saurus means lizard, so that's why this dinosaur is called stegosaurus. Stegosaurus, plated lizard, I know that you're an herbivore and would not eat a child like me, since you prefer the forest floor and munching plants like broccoli. Now you may notice that there are more words on the page than I read, that's because this poem is also in Spanish. All the poems in this book were translated by my wife, as it were, uh, who's Spanish, um, from English into Spanish. So I'll read Stegosaurus now in Spanish. Lagarto con placas, herbívoro eres, y jamás me comerías a mí, porque prefieres tus hierbas y tus flores, y el brócoli te hace feliz. And the second poem I'd like to read is actually the last poem in the book which is sort of a goodbye or good night poem. It goes along with this picture of a winged creature flying away. This guy is named Pterosaur because Pero means winged and Saur means lizard. Just like Stegosaurus meant plated lizard, this means winged lizard. Pterosaur, winged lizard, fly to the skies. I'll meet you there after closing my eyes and saying to the ground and the day my last sweet goodbyes.